All right. So good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I think uh, we're almost at the end. So uh, I think uh, we'll just keep it to 10 minutes. So at least we have some execution. We, you know, we don't need to wait 30 years for that. Uh, I think uh, this evening, I think uh, just listening to some of the speakers, I think some of them, uh, like Gautam uh, Tucker, actually spoke about the main motivation uh, for most developers to get into affordable housing. And he spoke uh, quite candidly about aspirational, affordable, uh, and also sustainable uh, housing. And that's really the endeavor of our development initiative. And uh, later, Mr. Hiranandani actually gave some interesting metrics in terms of development in Mumbai. And the crescendo just came crashing down with Mr. Zia from Knight Frank and, and, and the, some of the solutions he has. Luckily, our development fund is not necessarily focused on Nerjat and uh, Neral and Karjat, but it's, it's a, it's a pan-India fund. But even so, we like to think that in this particular micro-market, uh, there is a development opportunity to make it happen. And for us, affordable housing is, is a core area of focus, which is uh, essentially enabled with the Prime Minister's Avas Yojana as our guiding principle. Uh, ours is a development initiative uh, which basically uh, sees us sponsor green affordable housing. Uh, the initiative is set uh, from Singapore with global professionals from the US and Singapore and it's sponsored by leading financial services institutions one of which is Centrum Financial Services uh, here in India. And we have development finance institutions and governments uh, which are outside of India supporting our, our initiative. And last but not the least, uh, I have this colleague of uh, mine from IFC uh, who are actually one of our implementation partners to sustainable uh, uh, green housing. And uh, in terms of, uh, in terms of uh, the introduction to our team, uh, uh, we have Shonak uh, Ray, who's the business development lead for South Asia for IFC. We have Pratik Raj Patil, who represents uh, Centrum Financial Services. And I have a couple of other colleagues uh, on, the, on the first row, Saurav Manchanda and Sripal Doshi. My name is Deep Sen, and I'm the CEO and the co-founder of India Housing for All. Uh, unlike, uh, unlike a pure play uh, credit initiative, actually, what we see in affordable housing in India is a large percentage of developers are first generation professionals who come into this space of development. And one of our core objectives is actually bridging the perception barrier to funding. And by perception barrier, we mean uh, mitigating risk and augmenting reputation because we recognize affordable housing is not uh, the most glamorous part of real estate. And there's a lot of hard work that goes in. And often there's a journey which is rather a lonely one because the folks that actually work on this journey have very lean teams. So we work with, we work with development partners who have an emerging track record. We also work with development partners who over a longer period have a very steady track record. For the development partners, particularly who are funded by family and friends and customer cash flows, one of our core objectives is to help them improve their branding through sustainable, aspirational, affordable homes, particularly for first-time home buyers. Professional development partners who value our participation to be a co-pilot in achieving sustainable results, which is otherwise a very lonely journey for most of them. I think we are seen to be uh, uh, the risk mitigants for most of our funders, actually, which are, which are mainly governments and development finance institutions. And therefore, we are able to take on early stage projects, building sustainable work practices with our professional partners, development partners. And in addition to, uh, you know, which is equity-like funding, which is typically the, the theme for, develop, for a development fund, we also help our development partners access 
cheaper, greener construction finance internationally and through local markets to exit and optimize the projects. This is uh, basically our uh, uh, this is basically our business model, actually, where we come in at in the project where it's really at the design stage, where the risks are the greatest or per perceived to be the greatest. And this is where typically our professional developers take family and friends' money to invest. And this is where the private and the public sector does not invest. And we provide institutional capital so that we can partner them on that part of the journey, providing them a full financial close, and we then go on to optimize the journey forward by bringing on construction finance to complement our early stage development funding. Why us? Unlike construction finance and similar to friends and family, we sponsor a business case when sales is not established. We are more patient, we are scalable compared to family and friends, and we are definitely more institutional in inculcating some best practice. And our participation provides branding because of the sponsors that we have, and which basically should enable our development partner to improve sales and have easier access to mature financing for you know, for, for the further progress of, 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 of the project. Development partners uh, who have a history of sustainable community development, regardless of the immediate last five years, which is a very transactional context that funders use in India, which is five lakh square feet and, and five years, uh, we, we don't necessarily stick with that. We look for a longer history. And we don't necessarily go by uh, the achievements in, in only the last five years. Uh, to mitigate and to augment the development partner, we look for bolt-on developments. That means improved developments to what, what they have already done to support them at the early stage. And essentially, we, we lean on their expertise of land acquisitions, approvals, you know, the knowledge that comes with sales and marketing and also onboarding home buyers. So in that aspect, we make sure that we complement them with our skills and we don't compete with them. Our main goal is, uh, in terms of project or investment selection, is, is, is enabling partner and developing a project. And in that, we basically focus on the local communities that are going to get these homes because we recognize that we, we play a part in the journey and uh, we would like to run this journey with our partner. It's also beneficial for the sector to have development champions in micro markets. And although people spoke a bit disparagingly and maybe correctly so in terms of the growth or the infrastructure and access to some to a micro market like Neral and Karjat. But I believe uh, you cannot also remain still while infrastructure access improves. So one has to you know, uh, work that concurrently uh, in terms of what you actually wish to achieve over a period of time. And our core theme for our partners is actually to reduce dependency on family and friends money and get in at an early stage and crowd in construction finance at a more mature stage of the project. Yeah. Ours is a partnership approach. And uh, as against a pure transaction by transaction on a project to project basis, we are happy to reinvest our exits in multiple projects with the same partner. So with that, essentially, i like to hand it over to my colleague, uh, Shauna Cray, who represents IFC and enables some of our execution in funding uh, in terms of their EDGE program. Over to you, Shauna. 
Uh, good evening. Uh, I represent uh, IFC uh, of the World Bank Group uh, for the Green Building Transformation Program. Uh, I am mindful of the fact that we are standing between a wonderful message and, and dinner, so I'll be very brief. Uh, actually, I just leave you with two, two thoughts, um, which I learned from itself. Uh, first, the opening remark by President Gautam Thakkar. He mentioned that you cannot have affordable homes or affordable city without green. Uh, let's understand that and let's accept that fact. Uh, the uh, other one is just, uh, uh, Mr. Gulamzia talked about um, uh, two examples in Gurgaon. Uh, uh, and he talked about developers building next to each other with different ones. And both the developers are actually uh, users of the tool that we have, which is called Edge. Uh, and this is a tool that, we, uh, that you can, it's free for you to use. Uh, I'm not going to spend time over here uh, explaining this to you. You can go uh, to edgebuildings.com and have a look at it. It's a performance-based tool. It's freely available uh, for your use. I'm happy to take any questions offline uh, that I may. It's, it's actually a very hands-on uh, tool. You can use it through your in-house resources or use a consultant for it. And, um, and then you get a certification for it. There is an immense value for the certification. There are many green certifications. Uh, to our knowledge, is one of the international certifications which is cost-effective and actually uh, and, 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 and able to and serve your purpose to be able to give you a real-time uh, financial calculation on the returns. So the whole idea is to mainstream green. Uh, green is something not elitist. Uh, it's something that you can achieve and, and it doesn't really cost the earth. Uh, thank you so much.